Hi everyone. We're going to now do a release that I think you enjoy. Very often we want to control other people's experience. We want them to be happy. We want to change their unhappiness. And when we do that, we don't realize that we sometimes are making it worse for them. We're getting in the way of their own healing, their own understanding, their own power. If we get out of the way from that, then we can be of real service. And also, when you're not wanting to control another's experience, you can hold in mind for them whatever is in their highest and best good. You can hold in mind that they're already whole, complete, and perfect as they are. So that's what we're going to do together. So in this moment, could you just simply allow yourself to be what you are and be what you are and be what you are and by the way that's always enough if you just allowed yourself to be what you are throughout the day it would transform everything And now allow yourself to think of someone in your life who's experienced you wanting to change your control. And could you welcome any wanting to change or control their experience? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let go of wanting to change or control their experience? Could you set it free as best you can? And then could you, as best you can, hold in mind they are whole and complete and perfect as they are. Just do that as best you can. And focus on that same person or anyone else who's experienced you wanting to change your control. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with lending support. But when you're wanting to change your control in others' experience, they can feel that. And sometimes they defend their position as opposed to moving in, in the direction of something that will support them. So again, could you welcome any wanting to change or control that person's experience? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let go of wanting to change or control it? Could you just set it free? Allow it to unravel. And then as best you can, just for now, could you hold in mind that that person is whole and complete and perfect and enough as they are? Not that, I, of course, they maybe could do better, but in this moment, could you grant them their beingness? Could you be open at least to the possibility that they are already whole and complete and enough as they are? And again, focus on that same person or anyone else who's experienced you wanting to change your control. And could you welcome any wanting to change or control their experience? Could you just let that be here? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let go? Of wanting to change and control their experience. Could you just set it free? And then could you welcome at least the possibility that they are already whole and complete and enough as they are? Could you see them as perfect as they are just for an instant? Could you even love them as they are? seeing them as perfect, loving them as they are, seeing them as already whole and complete and enough. That's actually one of the most supportive things you can do for anyone. 
And you can choose to do that anytime. So let's run through this one or two more times. Because each time we go through it, it will take you deeper. And it will help you untangle from the other person and it will help them untangle from themselves. So in this moment, focus on that same person or anyone else who's experiencing you wanting to change or control. And could you welcome that wanting to change or control their experience? Could you just let it be here? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let go of wanting to change or control their experience? Could you just let it dissolve out of you? And then as best you can, could you just simply grant them the right to be as they are? Could you see them as whole and complete, as perfect as they are? Could you even love them as they are? You might even want to love them because they are the way they are. That doesn't mean you can't assist, but when you assist from a place of love, it has a much more profoundly effective support for them. And then could you just simply open your heart and love them and everyone you care about? The more you can love people as they are, the easier you'll be to be around and the easier you'll find yourself being around other people. When we love and accept people as they are, there's a natural flow of good energy. So could you just simply do your best to love and accept people around you and also do the same for yourself? Could you just simply love and accept yourself as you are? Even if you don't think you're perfect, love yourself anyway. So in this moment, could you just simply allow yourself to be what you are and be what you are and be what you are? And by the way, if you just simply allow yourself to remember to just simply be what you are as whatever's going on continues to unfold, that in and of itself will help you tremendously. We tend to get lost in the drama of our lives, in the drama of what's happening around us and all our inner reactions and thoughts about it, that we forget to just simply stop and be that which is natural, that which is always right here, right now. So again, could you just be what you are? As fully and completely as you can in this moment. And then could you allow yourself to review what's going on on the planet in your personal experience and with the people you care about, all of us as it, and could you welcome whatever that stirs up inside of you? Could you just let it be here? Allow it. Be present with it. And then could you welcome too any wanting to fix it, change it, control it, understand it, do anything with or about it? Could you just let that wanting to fix or change things be here? And then could you welcome too any sense that 
any of the things that are happening or how you're responding to it is personal, is about you or who you are. And your mind may be saying, yeah, of course it's personal. Well, that's what you're welcoming, that feeling that it's happening to you. Could you just welcome that too? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let the stress, the tension, the anxiety begin to dissolve within you? Could you let it wash out of your system? Just do that as best you can. And then could you welcome in your inner certainty, your inner strength, your inner power, your imperturbability? And then could you also sit back into the silence, the stillness, the isness, on or in which all this is appearing? And could you just be that for a moment? And then allow yourself to look back at the person that you usually believe you are and his or her world with love and affection. Could you just look at yourself and the world from the perspective of that which is always safe? always whole, always complete, always enough as it is. And then Check to see if there's any particular thing you've been hearing in your mind or seeing in the news that you've been finding disturbing, that's been producing anxiousness. And could you just let that be here? I know it could be a little overwhelming and our tendency is just to try to shut it down or to push it away. But if you just let it be here for a moment, since it is anyway, that makes a huge difference. You're just doing this. You're opening, you're opening yourself to just allowing what is to be as it is. And then could you also welcome all your wanting to fix it, change it, control it, understand it, do anything with or about it. And then could you welcome as well any sense that any of that is personal about you or who you are. Really allow that. And then as best you can, just for now, could you just set that all free? Let it go. Allow it to unravel. Allow it to dissolve. Would you? 
win. And then could you welcome in your calmness, your peacefulness, your joyousness? Could you welcome in the silence, the love, the peace that's always in the background that we usually ignore? Could you bring that into the foreground as best you can? It kind of feels like sitting back into yourself. Just do that as best you can. And then as that which never changes, as that which is always safe, always secure. Look back at that body-mind that you usually believe you are and its world with loving affection. As West and Levinson used to say, could you allow yourself to at least be open to the perfection where the seeming imperfection seems to be. The more you can see it from that more universal point of view, the more you feel the inner safety, the inner certainty that helps you deal more appropriately with whatever's happening around you. So could you just see the body-mind world from that more universal perspective as best you can? And then join me in shining love on everyone else. Could you hold, embrace them in the love that you are? Could you shine that light and love and power that you are on everyone else. See everything as best you can as resolving in a way that's in all of our highest and best good. And just really let that love that you are expand within you and around you. See it as it naturally fills the environment, supporting all. And could you just allow yourself, allow that body-mind as best it can to be a beacon for the love and the light of truth. And also make sure to include your body mind specifically in that. See it as being bathed in love and light, even when it's dealing with difficult circumstances. We're all in this together and we'll get to the other side. And then could you just simply be what you are and be what you are and be what you are. And 
and just allow yourself to celebrate life, enjoy life, embrace life. It's important to allow yourself to just keep letting go and being more open to the truth of who you are from moment to moment. The more open you are, the more allowing you are, the more you respond appropriately. At times it can look really bleak. However, if we allow ourselves to really let go, we'll find that we respond much more appropriately to whatever is going on in life. You'll know when to act and when not to, you know what to trust and what not to. The place to start with trust is always by trusting your own intuitive knowingness, by trusting yourself. In this release, we'll be exploring a new way of releasing that I'll be exploring. And it's based on the premise that Everything that we see, everything that we hear, everything that we feel, everything that we experience is appearing in or on that which we truly are. And because it is already an appearance in or on that, if you allow yourself to, you can actually focus on whatever the problem is of the moment and then go deeper into where the source, where it's coming from. And at first that may take you deeper into the feeling or the experience, but if, if you're persistent or you just stay open, what it does is it pulls you beyond the exterior. It opens you to experiencing something that's very profound. So let's explore it together. So in this moment, could you just simply allow yourself to be what you are. And be what you are. And be what you are. And then allow yourself to focus on one of either your personal challenges of the moment or something happening in the world that is causing any kind of stress or tension or anxiety or contraction. And could you welcome whatever that brings up inside of you? Could you just let that be here? And then could you just allow yourself to ponder what is the source of whatever you're experiencing. Now at first, the mind may throw up all sorts of ideas. But do this more as a, a normal releasing question where you're opening to the letting go. If you pay attention and keep going deeper, it will take you through the turmoil into source. Into that which you already are.
So again, as you focus on whatever that is, allow yourself to focus on what is source. Look through it to the source. And then allow yourself to look back at that issue as best you can as source. As space. as emptiness. As calmness. As imperturbability. And then allow yourself to just simply welcome any fear or anxiety or tension or contraction you may be experiencing in this moment. And what is the source of that? And whatever the mind throws up, if anything, what is the source of that? And what is the source of that? And then could you allow yourself to look back at whatever that was on the surface as source? as truth.
as light. as love. As calmness. and to allow yourself to go deeper into the light. into the love. Into source. Just allow yourself to ask, what is the source of light? What is the source of unshakable inner security? What is the source of love? And if it's even more than that, what is the source of love?
And if it's still more than that, what is the source of love? And now again, allow yourself to focus on either something happening in the world or something happening within your own consciousness that feels contracted. that feels disturbed. that feels less than optimal. And could you just welcome that? Let it be here. And then simply check, what is the source of that? Remember to go past whatever the mind throws up. Now, if you stay open, you'll notice the mind quickly goes still. But if it's still throwing things up, think less, feel more as best you can. And again, what is the source of that? If the mind is throwing something up, just ask what is the source of that? Keep tracing it deeper. And what is the source of that? Oh. 
and then allow yourself to ask the same question of some of the characteristics of source. What is the source of calmness? What is the source of light? What is the source of love? And as that light, as that love, as that truth of who you are, could you allow yourself to look back at that situation or at the body-mind world and see it as source sees it? And just do that as best you can. Just sit back in and as source, as light. As love. as truth. As freedom. And look at our world and your body-mind as part of it from that more expanded perspective. Just do that as best you can. The more you allow yourself to do that, the more it will transform every part of your life. And even if you're facing some extreme challenges at the moment, this will help get you through. You'll find that you respond more appropriately, more effectively, more easily, even more quickly 
to what is in your highest and best good moment to moment. So just allow yourself to explore what is source. Do it not just on the light and the love, but on all the things that appear to obscure it. Because as you keep going deeper, you can discover that they come from the same source. By discovering that, the things that seem threatening, that seem external, that seem to be challenges, start to resolve themselves. So in this moment, could you just simply be what you are? And be what you are. And be what you are. <laughs> And then allow yourself to review this past year and see if anything at all happened in this past year that you'd like to change. You wish didn't go exactly that particular way. Now, it's better if you don't make a list. Just pick one thing. And could you welcome the desire to fix or change that? And then could you just let it go? Set it free. Allow it to unravel. And then allow yourself to focus on that same thing or anything else about this past year that you'd like to change, fix, edit, erase. Anything you're wishing maybe didn't happen quite that way. And could you welcome your wanting to fix it? Your wanting to change it? Your wanting to control it? And then could you just set it free? Let it go. Welcome it through. And again, allow yourself to focus on the same thing or anything else from this past year that didn't go the way you planned. Or maybe you didn't like what you planned. And could you welcome any wanting to fix it, change it, or control it? And that as best you can, just for now. Could you let go of wanting to fix it, change it? control it. 
And then could you allow it to be the way it was? Since we haven't invented a time machine yet, you can't change the past. But you can allow it to be the way it was. In doing that, you open the door to not repeating the same patterns over and over again. To not being stuck in those memories. So could you allow what was to be as it was? And then allow yourself to again review the past year and see if there's anything that still has a charge on it for you. That thing that you're thinking about now. And could you just simply welcome that emotional energy, that inner turbulence. And could you welcome any wanting to do anything with or about it? Could you just let it be turbulent for inside for a moment? And then could you welcome to any sense that what happened, the person that appeared to experience it, or whatever you're experiencing in this moment, is personal about you or who you are? Could you welcome the feeling that it's personal? And then, as best you can, just for now, could you set that memory free? Allow yourself to retain whatever wisdom you gain from that experience, but set the memory itself free. I'm not saying erase it. I'm saying just set it free. Cut all emotional attachment and aversion to it. Just let it go. And let's do that again. Allow yourself to focus on that same incident or experience that still seems unresolved or any other one that still seems unresolved. And could you just welcome whatever inner turbulence there is right now? Could you just let it be here? And then could you welcome any wanting to fix it, change it, control it, understand it, do anything with or about it. And then could you welcome as well any sense that that's personal about you or who you are?
then could you allow yourself to set the, the memory free? The wisdom will naturally remain if you let go of all the emotional charge, all attachment and aversion to that particular memory. Wisdom once gained is never lost. Unless you try to suppress it or deny it, which I don't recommend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and could you just embrace what is? And embrace what is? And embrace what is? And then could you allow yourself to look forward into the next year? And see if there's anything you're hoping won't happen. Anything you're concerned might happen. Any trouble you're holding in mind for yourself or the planet in the coming year. And could you just simply welcome whatever that stirs up inside? Could you just let it be here? And then, as best you can, just for now, even though you have a great plan of how to deal with it, could you let go of wanting to cause trouble for yourself in that particular way? Could you let go of wanting to hold in mind future turmoil as best you can? And could you be open at least to the possibility of it turning out better than you can imagine. And then allow yourself to again check what is some other trouble you're expecting to happen next year or through this coming year with the planet, with politics, with your body,
with your mind. with your friends. with your relatives. Most of us have lots of trouble we're planning to either experience directly or witness. And could you just welcome that anticipation? Or that dread? And then could you just set it free? Let it go. Let go of anticipating or expecting or wanting that to happen. and be open to a much more positive outcome than even your mind can conceive of. And let's check one more time. Check to see if there's any other place, either in your own personal life, or in this world where you're anticipating a problem, a challenge, or even a catastrophe. And could you just welcome that anticipation that fear or dread. And then as best you can, just for now, could you let go of expecting that? Could you let go of wanting it to happen? Could you even let go of wanting to be right? So you can say, see, I told you that was going to happen. And just be open at least to the possibility of a much more positive outcome than you can possibly imagine. And then allow yourself to just simply picture how if you were God and you could have the perfect world and the perfect life, what would it feel like? What would you be experiencing? What would everyone else be experiencing? 
and allow yourself to see it, feel it, and hear it happening as best you can. And then check, is there anything inside of you that's saying no, that's doubting, that's holding back? That's telling you, oh, that's just wishful thinking. Or anything similar. And if there's any internal block in this moment, could you just let it go? Set it free. Allow it to unravel. Welcome it through. And just turn that vision over to the power that is the way. See it as already manifesting. And if you can, allow yourself to feel grateful. And then in this moment, could you allow yourself to get in touch with the love that you are? Do that as best you can. And could you allow yourself to feel that love vibrating and then see and feel and hear that love vibrating all around you. And then see and hear and feel that love vibrating in all the plants, the animals, the objects, the other people. Could you just see and hear and feel the entire all vibrating within the love that you are?
let yourself see and hear and feel the love that you are vibrating deeper. Notice that the love that you are is already vibrating infinitely. And could you just be love? And be love. And allow yourself to see, hear, and feel that. See the love and the beauty and the light and the sweetness, even in your greatest challenges. Just let that love be as it is in all circumstances. And just let yourself be. I love you all very much.